my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today is July 25th, which means it's my birthday. I turn 31. Yes, I am officially in my 30s. Well, I look forward to the decade of my 30s, or at least until I turn 35. Um, turning 31 is just sort of like a blase birthday. It's sort of, it's that birthday after that big milestone. Like, it's like turning 14 or turning 19 or turning 22. Like what comes with being 31 other than finally being in my 30s. <laughs> But still, I look forward to it because so far, like, I like being 30, in my 30s, so much better than my 20s. My 20s was such a waste. Ugh. I really want my 30s to be awesome. I want to be awesome in my 30s. I want to do life. I want to do life. I don't really know where to begin though. I know that sounds ridiculous, but yeah, I really, what's with, what's with the claws? <sighs> what I really need is a friend. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but I need a friend. I need like, I need, I need my person. I need my person that's not my husband. I need my friend. I need a friend. <sighs> I don't even know how to go about doing that. How do you meet friends when you're in your thirties? I met the neighbor. We only lived here for two years and I finally met the neighbor. That's because of John though. <laughs> so to celebrate turning 31 today, I am drinking the tea that I look forward to every year and that is Adagio's birthday tea. And this is a blend of black tea, natural vanilla flavor, candy sprinkles, natural cream flavor, and natural, car and natural caramel flavor. And I don't know. I look forward to this tea every year. I mean, obviously it's a lure to get me to spend money because like they give you, every year for your birthday, if you have an account with them, um, they give you a 10% coupon and a free sample packet, sample size packet of this birthday tea. And of course I couldn't resist buying from them this year. It was worth it though. I finally scheduled my purchase on the full moon. so. I finally got Adagio's Bella Luna tea, the tea that they release every full moon. I've been purchasing them from them from, since like 2014. I don't know when they started the Bella Luna tea, but I've been purchasing with them pretty regularly since 2014. And it's taken me, what, five years to finally try this tea? And so they've been doing this little puzzle um, on the full moon where if you guess the word, if you guess the puzzle word, then you can purchase the um, Bella Luna Blue, which they only release once in a blue moon. So like the next time it's available is sometime in 2020. But your girl figured out the secret puzzle word. So I also have a Bella Luna Blue. I'm so excited. See, this was totally worth it. And then I also got uh, a big bag of Honeybush Banana Nut because, oh, like I ran out of it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. It's so good. But anyways, today I am drinking my birthday tea. I'm so happy, so happy. So um, this is what it looks like. I didn't really get that many sprinkles in it uh, this year. Not that they're, they're mostly there for aesthetic. It's not like they really, it's not like they dissolve and make your, your tea sweet or anything like that. They're, they just, I think they're mostly there for aesthetics. Smell, you can smell the black tea. Um, and then there's like, and then you can smell caramel. And then sort of like a creamy flavor. I think it's supposed to be reminiscent of a cupcake. A caramel cupcake. I was supposed to have a cupcake prop in this video. <laughs> but yesterday was a two cupcake kind of day. Like it was just really stressful. So I ate my cupcake prop yesterday. <laughs> Don't judge me. So I did a David's teaspoon bowl. So I think that's like two and a half teaspoons or two and a half, yeah, two and a half teaspoons uh, per 16 ounce or so, maybe a little bit less. And then I steeped it um, for three minutes at 212 degrees. 
and the lighting is really bad in here so you can't really see this. Um, but it steeps up to like this, what color is this? Like this, like this reddish caramel color. Let's see if I can, nope, you can't see it. You're just gonna take my word for it. It steeps up to like this reddish caramel color. It's very lovely. And now I get to drink it. Happy birthday to me, yeah yeah. Mm. And I should add that I put sugar in here because it's a dessert tea. I really like this tea because it's one of the blended teas where you can still taste the black tea base to it. Um, there are many teas that I've tried over the years where if it's a flavored tea, the tea, the tea kind of gets lost in all of the additional flavors. But I really think that the black tea base kind of stands on its own and it's just sort of, it just sort of is complemented by these wonderful creamy vanilla notes and, and this caramel flavor. It's really a decadent cup of tea, especially if you add a little bit of sugar, which I definitely recommend. I, I've had this straight, whatever. I, you need it with sugar. I mean, it's your freaking birthday. Just put some sugar in it. It just makes me happy. It's, it's just sort of, it's been my tradition for probably the past three or four years, so I look forward to it every year. And it's just good. It's just really good. So yeah, that's what I'm drinking today. All day. Not all day. I'll probably stop at noon because <laughs> there's caffeine in it and I won't sleep if I keep drinking it past noon. Because I'm in my 30s. Another thing that I started doing when I turned 30 was drinking decaf coffee. What is up with that? Although I love it. <laughs> I do. This evening when John comes home, we're going to go to the uh, fair that's in town. We go to look at the, the animals and we go for my birthday dinner. My birthday dinner is the legendary corn tato. The legendary corn tato. That is, it's just a baked potato smothered in liquid butter and corn and cheese and cream cheese. It's every bit artery clogging as it sounds, but at least there's vegetables in it. <laughs> That's what I tell myself, but it's, it's amazing. I, we literally go to the fair just for this meal. It's that good. I'll be devastated if they're not there this year. They've got to be there. They were there for like the last two years. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go eat a corn tato. We're going to look at some cows and sheep and chickens, all their livestock. And we're just going to walk around. That's the end of this video. Just a short one. Just a short one to tell you I'm getting old. I'm drinking birthday tea. Have you tried a dad Joe's birthday tea before? And let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Also, do you have any birthday traditions like how John and I go to the fair every year to get a corn tato? If you do, tell me about it. I'd love to know. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.